Hi guys. It is a cloudy, gloomy, soon to be stormy night here in the end times. Here on uh, Tuesday night, May 24th, 2021. And uh, I am on my third drink tonight. I am pissed off. I am heartbroken. And uh, I'm ready to do some fucking ranting tonight. So. I have apologized to my roommates that they need to uh, get ready for some ranting. But before we get in, uh, I might have three rants tonight. We're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, UFOs and space aliens. We're gonna talk about narcissists. But before we get into uh, UFOs and narcissist, uh, I just want to dive into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag, looking at uh, some of the comments I received on my little uh, rant yesterday about yanking those fucking baby tomato plants out, out of the goddamn ground and sending them into a fucking ditch uh, yesterday. All, all, all of this shit. This little fucking fantasy I had up here at, uh, at, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. How I was going to bring these little fucking tomato plants up here and uh, plant them in the fucking ground and have all these little tomatoes and, and everything was just going to be so fucking peachy, you know. And uh, they ended up in a fucking ditch, like everything else I uh, put my fucking hands on, manifest in a... A, a, a goddamn every fucking silk purse I find in my life, I turn into a fucking sow's ear. And uh, I was talking about in that rant, which had nothing to do with fucking tomato plants. Uh, a, a few of you probably understood that rant didn't have a goddamn thing to do with fucking tomato plants or gardening. It, it was talking about metaphor. Uh, that, 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 that people, you know, I, I sit here and, and, and talk about how people don't understand irony uh, and whatnot, but, but the art of speaking in metaphor has completely fucking gone down the toilet, I, I, I guess, uh, since the dumbing down of America and the rest of this planet. But apparently a few of my uh, Alert Tribes members understood the fucking metaphor I, I was talking about in, in, in that rant uh, about those fucking tomato plants uh, going in the goddamn ditch. Um, so let's check in with a few of these... Uh, just a few of my Alert Tribes members. Uh, uh, should I take this call? This is the call from my astrologer, Ariel. Is, Ariel, you'll have to wait. Uh, that was my astrologer and my tarot card reader was calling me. She probably has an emergency tarot card reading. That has something to do with this rant. Since she had a cameo, Ariel probably just saw this rant. She had a cameo in it, by the way. Ariel fully understands metaphor and irony. But we're going to hear from Mark J. Good old Mark J. Uh, what does Mark J have to have to say about uh, the metaphor? of throwing baby tomatoes in a ditch. <clears throat> Take it away, Mark. Bittersweet experience living on this plant, on this planet. More bitter than sweet, unfortunately. Rob Schneider said it well. Quote, Life is a series of disappointments punctuated by a few brief moments of pleasure. And my response to Mark and I guess Rob, I think you know what this rant is about and it has nothing to do with tomatoes and gardening. You know exactly what I am talking about. Yes. 
Now, Oceanic Estate obviously had no clue what I was talking about. Too much sunlight, too much heat. Well, uh, th that maybe maybe that may, maybe that is an appropriate comment. Okay, what does Free Bear have to say about my rant yesterday? Small dreams, small setbacks. Uh, my comment to Free Bear was this video had nothing to do with tomatoes or gardening and it had nothing to fuck to do with small dreams and small setbacks. This was one of the biggest dreams of my entire fucking life has gone down the fucking toilet. And uh, Free Bear, when I told him the video had nothing to do with tomatoes or gardening, he says, yes, I know. Uh, so what? Okay, this was probably my favorite one. I'm not, this was a long, this is from my buddy in Vermont, WRW. Okay, <laughs> take it away, WRW. In this case, it all comes down to companion planting. When you put your tomato roots next door to a crazy, resource controlling pepper plant, then even if you do get some fruit, the tomatoes will be tasteless. That is why I like to dedicate a garden bed just for my tomato plants. It is for them. I can try some companion planting after the tomato, after the tomato roots are firmly in the ground but if those companion plants become controlling, then I can rip them out. Because when push comes to, th comes to shove, it is a tomato bed first and foremost for my future tomato fruit. Yes, um, it is very difficult to get tomatoes when the companion plant controls the resources for the garden bed. <laughs> and this was my response to WRW, to, to that comment. I have been planting tomatoes and peppers together for 40 fucking years, and I have never heard this before. I just Googled the subject, and it doesn't show up there either. I have 10 other tomatoes planted outside the garden, nowhere near a fucking pepper. I will definitely take notes this summer. WRW's response back to me, Hambone, who is talking about tomatoes and peppers? My response back to that comment was, exactly. But, you cannot rip out a companion plant that was never in your fucking garden in the first place to begin with. No matter how resource draining that companion plant may have ended up being, or how much it may have drained the flavor from your fruit, it is a cruel universe after all. Yes. Okay, what does Vegematic have to say? I'm glad to see Vegematic is still with us on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Veg simply says the rains will come this week. My response to Vegematic, the drought I am talking about in this video has nothing to do with fucking rain. All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> we're going to skip over the comment about my uh, my neighbor at the former at the former Crazy Crane campground hip camp, the defunct fucking hip camp down there. Anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna. I'm just gonna do one more. Uh, no, we're gonna do. 
Let's hear from Sandy. What what did what did uh, Sandy Shellis have to say about this video? Sandy knew goddamn well that this video had nothing to do with fucking uh, tomatoes. Take it away, Sandy. I will be planting all those tomato plants. You know, I gave Sandy half those fucking tomato plants. Uh, I never want to see those fucking tomato plants again in my life. I will be planting all those tomato plants into my garden tomorrow. All of my trellises are up for them, and I have fed them and cared for them in my greenhouse. Blah, blah, blah. My response to Sandy is, I am sure they will enjoy your garden better than the ditch these ungrateful bastards ended up in. But we are going to end up with a comment from Paul Whetstone. What did Paul uh, have to say about, a, uh, about this video? <clears throat> Better luck next time with the mater manifesting hambone. My response to Paul was, this video had nothing to do with fucking tomatoes. Paul responded back, neither did my comment, hambone. And my response to that was, upon rereading it, I wonder if your play on words, delicious irony, was intentional or not. Mater manifestation. I love it. Anyway, guys, you will be hearing, I'm quite sure, I'm trying to keep my fucking mouth shut about my mater uh, manifest, manifesting uh, skills here in the end times. We're going to give it one more fucking week. I, I, I'm going to try to put a fucking cork in it, and uh, we will see what the rant about my mater manifesting sounds like on Tuesday, June 1st. But right now, here is the little... The little mater I have manifested in my life is Sancho Panza, my little companion plant. Yes, my little companion plant who goes everywhere I do to sweeten the fruit of my existence. Yes, little companion plant. Yes, I know it. We will, uh, but we got to hate some bad news for you, Sancho. We've got two more rants. We're going to come back uh, and they're either going to be talking about narcissism or UFOs. So uh, anybody wanting to hear about narcissists or UFOs will have to uh, join me in a minute. I got to come back and uh, we're going to talk about narcissists, little dog. I think we'll talk about narcissists next. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> 